welcome to Spectrum 360. I'm Sarah DiNatale. And I'm Tom Dinky. Leading off today's newscast, adjunct professors took to the streets of Buffalo Friday, staging a rally requesting better treatment from the university. Our Samaya Abdul Salam has the story. On Friday, the Buffalo Adjunct Movement, BAM, a coalition of adjunct professors and graduate students, held a rally in Lafayette Square and the Buffalo and Erie County Central Library. Adjunct professors protested job security and equal treatment in the workspace in western New York. As a part of the rally, adjunct professors held a grade-in, where adjuncts graded students' work in the library. The purpose of the grade-in was to show the amount of work adjuncts do and how important they are to the university. Adjunct professors make up 70 to 75 percent of faculty and staff in universities nationwide. At public research universities like UB, 57.9 percent of faculty and staff are adjuncts. BAM plans on having more rallies to raise awareness, but currently don't have anything planned. For Spectrum 360, this is Samaya Abdus Salam. Thanks, Samaya. Up next, about 18,000 people attended Saturday's football game against Central Michigan. It was a tough loss for the Bulls. Our Andy Connick and Owen O'Brien have post-game analysis. My name is Owen O'Brien, and I'm here with Andy Connick. At the Buffalo's 20-14 loss to Central Michigan here at UB Stadium on Saturday. Central Michigan opened up the game with a 14-0 lead and drove down the field en route to taking what could have been a 21-0 lead before a key play was made by Adam Redden, who was able to strip sack the quarterback, pick up the own fumble himself, and then Buffalo was able to take the ball from there. Andy, what changed after that play? Yeah, and after that forced and recovered fumble by Adam Redden, um, the Bulls were able to go down the field. Uh, Lakata hit Ron Willoughby for a 28-yard touchdown pass to pull the Bulls within seven. Um, Joe Lakata was able to hit Malcolm Robinson for a six-yard pass to pull uh, the Bulls to a tie game. However, Central Michigan took the lead with a little bit over eight minutes remaining. Uh, the Bulls gained possession with 2.53 left in the fourth quarter, but unfortunately against the number one MAC defense, uh, they just couldn't get it done. We tried to be as aggressive as, as, as we possibly could, you know, offensively and making calls to try to make plays, but we just came up short. I mean, it, you know, you guys, you know, seen the game. We came up short. We, we, we made, I think, a valiant effort at, at some of those things, but we came up short. And now Buffalo drops to three and five on the season, including one and three in MAC competition after this loss. After a 2013 season in which the Bulls went eight and four and, 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 and ended up playing in a bowl game, Buffalo is going to have to win its final four games of the season to have any possibility of playing in a bowl game in 2014. For Andy Connick, I'm Owen O'Brien. It'll be interesting to see how the Bulls finish the season under Coach Wood. And some of UB's more stylish students helped host a fashion show in downtown Buffalo this weekend. Our James Battle went to the event hosted by the University's African Student Association. Hey y'all, it's James here. I'm at the 15th annual ASA fashion show entitled Cirque du Couture Aruka. People have been lining up for the past few minutes, and it's about to begin, so let's head inside. Saturday's Cirque du Couture Aruka was themed around the circus and featured acts to reflect that, such as aerial dancers. The show hosted performances from UB's Step Troop and UB's Crossfire Dance Team. Seven designers showed off their lines, and many of whom incorporated African clothing and patterns in their designs. The models for the event were mostly UB students and spent over a month preparing for the show. We've been planning in this event since like summer, basically. Everybody's putting a lot of work and effort into making this a great show. Uh, a lot of uh, film kinks um, happened through uh, the weeks, but you know, we made it, we put it all together. And if you're interested in seeing some more stylish students, you can check out the Spectrum Style issue November 5th. Thanks for stopping in to this week's Spectrum 360. Be sure to pick up the paper every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.